Well, good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutip. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. New details this morning on the brutal attack of the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. We are breaking down what the suspect is facing in court and what authorities say he may have been planning next. Election day is just eight days away, even though I put up ten fingers. I really meant to <laughs> uh, It's Monday. It's Halloween. <laughs> right, that's right. Candidates are making their final push to win voters over in uh, high-stakes races. So we are taking a closer look at the latest data from our CBS News Battleground tracker. And tragedy in Seoul with more than 150 people killed during Halloween celebrations. We're taking a closer look at what may have caused the crowd surge. Plus, the debate over race as a factor in university admissions heads to the Supreme Court. The justices ruling on affirmative action could set a new precedent for achieving diversity on college campuses. And later, we've got a recap of week eight of the NFL season, a defending champion falls, and another top team scores despite a major starting player staying out of the game. So we're going to talk football, but uh, I hope we get to talk a little bit about Halloween. Did you dress up this weekend? Did you have a party? No, uh, I bailed. You bailed on I the party? Because I couldn't, I had all these grand designs about, I was going to be the um, Justin Timberlake as that tofu character. Do you remember? It was an SNL party. We all had to dress like SNL characters. So I was like, I want to be Justin Timberlake. Two, I remember the, the chicken. The vegan oh, one. I, I know you, people watch this. Okay, it's one of the all funniest right. characters. Right. And then I bought all the stuff at the craft store, and then I was like, I'm not going to do any of this stuff. <laughs> what, else, what else is happening on you Saturday? You got too ambitious, Amory. Yeah. You got too ambitious. I, I went to a bonfire where no one required a costume. You got to look in the closet and be like, what do I got I know, that semi right. looks right. like a costume? And you know what? I went as the Fonz. Like, I put oh, my leather jacket. Oh, your leather jacket. That's, That's your uniform, basically. <laughs> Did you have hair? No, I went as the Fonz as if he were 50 years old. <laughs> that is such <laughs> a cop out. I know. I, I'm not going to get hair, grow hair in like that <laughs> time and takes to get here for Halloween. Uh, <laughs> my favorite costume, celebrity costume, though, was um, Kerry Washington dressed up as Lionel Richie. Have you seen that? <laughs> I haven't seen it. I have it. to show it I'll to you. It is the funniest Instagram. thing ever. Check it out, folks. It's on her Instagram account. <laughs> You'll be dying. Uh, all right. There is some serious news to get to today. Let's talk about the battleground tracker that CBS News has. Candidates across the country are making their final push this week with Election Day just over a week away. And many midterm races could not be any tighter. So our latest CBS News battleground tracker shows Republicans currently are in a good position to win a majority in the House. New data shows a staggering